I've always enjoyed reading and I've been using a Kindle since I was around 10 years old when my parents had the foresight to buy me one to support my hobby. I'm now 18 and a Kindle is still loyally on my bedside table and it's one of the first things that I think about when I go on holiday. When I first started using a Kindle, the version that I had didn't have a touchscreen, didn't have a backlight and didn't have any social features like Goodreads. But now every version of the Kindle has all of those features as standard and if you want to spend a bit more for the Paperwhite or the Oasis you get even more features. In this video I'll explain why I think having a Kindle is so important to me and why I still think that they're the best reading experience in nearly a decade after I started using them. So I'll start with the conclusion then I'll talk about the software experience, the reading experience, the added benefits you get from using a Kindle and then finally I'll wrap up with my final thoughts. So in conclusion, the Kindle is the best reading experience to me for its convenience. I'm not someone who's overly attached to the, the feeling of a heavy paper book, but to me, the ability to have multiple libraries worth of books downloaded at once and the world's biggest bookstore all in one place is incredibly valuable. Convenience is at the root of why the Kindle is so good, but there's a lot more reasons. So if you're interested, then watch the rest of the video to find out what I think they are. The Kindle software experience is really the thing that sets it apart as the best way to read a normal book. I've spoken to a few people who've said that they couldn't possibly read on a Kindle because they just love the authentic feeling of a real paperback book too much. I do understand that point of view, but to me, I have more value in the content of the book that I'm reading rather than how I read the content. So from going to a book recommendation to reading a free sample in less than 30 seconds still feels like the future and it's only possible with an e-reader like a Kindle. The Kindle has a built-in translator, a built-in dictionary, access to Wikipedia, which means that when you're reading, there's no need to stop and look something up on your phone, which could cause you to possibly get distracted. But I have to say that highlighting and adding a note is probably my favorite feature of the Kindles. I think that it's better than highlighting and writing notes on a real book because you don't have to deal with all the extra highlighters, all the extra pens, and that's especially important if, like me, you enjoy reading in bed. Also, it's very hard in a real book to look through your highlights or to find one specifically but on a kindle all your highlights and all your notes are in one place so it's really easy and accessible to find all of your previously highlighted notes now this feature can boost your productivity by making you focus on what you're actually reading and by the time that you finish the book you'll find that there's more value from having read it now something that i also love about the kindles is the solid ecosystem that amazon's built around them they have a technology called whispersync which syncs your progress within a book to the kindle app this means that if you still want to finish a chapter on the train, but you've forgotten your Kindle at home, you can read for a couple minutes on your phone because the Kindle app on the phone has synced your progress from the Kindle at your house. Now this works across phones, laptops, desktops, your progress syncs across all these devices and that's something that's really convenient in a pinch. And also, the fact that all the books are bought through Amazon means that if you set up an Amazon household, you can share all the books you've bought with anyone else in your household for free. If one person in your household buys a book, then everyone in the household has access to it, even if you live in different countries. Now this is something that I use all the time with my mum because there are certain times throughout the year that we get interested in the same book and we only have to buy it once. We both have Kindles, which means we each have our own reading progress, our own notes, our own highlights, but we only have to buy the book once. Now that's a great feature if there are multiple people in your house that enjoy reading. Now one more thing about the software experience is its integration with Audible. I don't currently subscribe to Audible, but if you do, then it's another reason why a Kindle could be ideal for you. For many books, the Kindle version and the Audible version are in sync. This means that you could be reading your Kindle at home, and then when you have your commute, your progress is synced to the Audible app, and you can simply continue reading your book through the audiobook version. And the newer Kindles can even have Bluetooth headphones attached to them, so you can listen to audiobooks through Audible on the Kindle itself. There are many reasons why the Kindle is the best reading experience, and the software is one of them. Now, when you're talking about the reading experience on a Kindle, it must be said that the Kindle is the closest thing that you can have on a digital device to reading a real book. The screen isn't like a laptop or a phone. It actually requires external light in the same way that a book requires external light to read it. This means that it's perfectly legible in direct sunlight and it gives it a certain clarity that other screens just can't replicate. However, unlike normal paper books, Kindles also have an adjustable light, which means you can read it in pitch black. This means you can read even in complete darkness without the need to mess around with those little 
book light so you have to clamp onto the top of the page then unclamp to turn the page it's just a massive inconvenience but the light from the kindle also isn't like a monitor light or a phone light or a tablet light those screens use three different colored pixels to make your brain think that it's seeing different colors including white on a kindle there's no trickery white is just white and i found that over the years of using a kindle it causes far less eye fatigue than when i use my ipad or my laptop screen this is because the leds on a kindle can direct the lights towards the content on the screen rather than using a backlight that shines light directly into your face when you're reading. Now this means that the backlight won't keep you up at night in the same way that looking at your phone or tablet would. Also, with more and more things that we use every day needing batteries, lots of us are used to charging our phones, laptops, tablets, and even watches every single day. But the Kindle is different. E-ink screens only use power when they switch the screen, which means that having a screensaver like this doesn't use any power. This low power consumption means that a Kindle can last for weeks without needing a recharge, which makes it a lot more convenient to read from than a tablet. Overall, I would describe the reading experience on a Kindle as simple. Once you purchase a book or download a free sample, you're ready to read. And a simple swipe of the screen changes the page. It's essentially the same as reading a real book, but you can turn the pages with one hand when reading in bed. There are also other small enhancements that come to reading when you use a Kindle. For example, a small convenience is that the time can be displayed at the top, so you don't keep reading until 3 a.m. The Kindle can also calculate how long it takes you to read and it will show you at the bottom how long it will take to finish the chapter or to finish the book. But maybe one of the best things about the Kindle is the vastness of the library that it has. If there's a paperback version of it, it's very likely that there's a Kindle version of it as well and the Kindle version is often gonna be cheaper. And who doesn't like saving a bit of money? Now, these incredible conveniences to me are far more important than the simple feeling of a paper book. There are also other added benefits that come with only a Kindle that simply isn't possible when reading on other mediums. You have access to free books. Every Kindle has its own unique email address which you can send files to. So PDFs and other book formats you already have can be sent to your Kindle within seconds. And this is great because there are a lot of online resources that have free books, especially classics. Websites like Project Gutenberg currently has around 60,000 free books which can all be sent to your Kindle instantly. Kindles also have Goodreads integration, which is the largest community of readers. They have community reviews on there, so you can see what other people think about the book before you buy it. You can also see popular highlights on the book that you're reading if you want to, and you can create reading lists. So you can put up the books that you want, and you can put up the books that you enjoyed. It's a great service for serious readers. The Kindle is also great for focused reading. The Kindle does one thing and it does it very well. There's no YouTube, there's no games, there's barely any web browsing, you can't get notifications, so there's nothing to distract you. That's why I struggle to use an iPad to read because of the constant barrage of notifications that comes in. A Kindle is also great for its huge library. A Kindle can store around 3,000 to 6,000 books on the device. This makes it an incredible traveling companion if you're not planning on reading one book for your whole trip. It's great for long flights, relaxing by the beach or the pool and to disconnect from the online world. Free samples are also a great feature. Each book has a free sample that you can download before you decide to buy the full book. Now this is great if you're unsure about paying for a book because you can read the start of it and see if you think that you'll actually enjoy it. It really is a great feature. So there are all these small conveniences that come together to form the Kindle and what I think is still the greatest possible reading experience. There are so many reasons to buy a Kindle and I hope that this video has convinced you of its usefulness both to avid readers and to those who are trying to just read more. There are some studies that say that reading on a Kindle allows you to read more. Amazon sells three versions of the Kindles at three different prices which makes them very affordable and the more that you're willing to spend the more features you'll get which makes it a very accessible device. If you value reading and you read a lot I would wholeheartedly recommend purchasing a Kindle. I've never had a problem with mine and I definitely think that it's allowed me to read far more books than I would have been able to without having one. So thank you for watching. Please leave any feedback or comments that you may have and please consider subscribing for more content.